Yo guys, hey, there's only one place to start, man. And as you guys can see, wow, <laughs> I did not see this one coming. I, I swear to you, I did not see this one coming. But Lewis Hamilton leaving Mercedes for Ferrari at the end of 2024 and the start of 2025. And yo, this is just my reaction. I know normally I'll be doing some ACC content or some sort of sim racing content but i'm gonna cover this story because it's crazy to me but um tell me what you guys think in the comment section below i definitely did not see hamilton leaving mercedes man i thought that was his career i thought he was gonna become an ambassador for for mercedes just like you know that like sterling moss and all that sort of thing but bro either to me this tells me that the mercedes car for next season is not where it's supposed to be um and he's already seen that you know the progress isn't there and he doesn't want to wait no more he understands that he's 39 gonna be 40 he needs a car now and if we if we look at the last two seasons the only car realistically that on raw pace has been able to match the red bull the most is probably the ferrari i know the ferrari dies in the race but if we're just looking at the raw pace of the cars, the Ferrari's got raw speed. It just doesn't have any tire life, you know? And how much we've seen this and thinking, man, like if I if I could just get in there and I could perhaps help them, you know, help them with their development, try and put them down a path where, you know, the Ferrari could actually be a little bit better on his tires. You've got a chance, man. Um, I, I, I can't get my head around it. I do think it's a weird one now. I'm not a Hamilton fan, but I am a Ferrari fan. So, me, I'm gassed, bro. I'm not going to lie. I'm gassed just to see Lewis and Red. The Leclerc-Hamilton partnership is by far the best on the grid, bro. It will be by far the best on the grid. Um, My only my only thing is, even like, even I'll admit it, with Ferrari, they've, they've killed so many people's careers, man. They've literally killed so many careers. And... Hamilton being closer to the end of his career is like it's, it's such a risk but you have to respect him for taking it you have to respect the fact he's willing to go up against Charles Leclerc who is seen as you know someone who's pretty close to you know like the Max Verstappen level so I mean sheesh bro wow <laughs> okay this is crazy and I kind of also I find the timing very weird I find it weird that we're going into the 2024 season knowing that Hamilton is not going to be there for the season after. So what 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 is his mindset for this season? You know, like how is he going to motivate himself knowing that he's not going to be there? What happens if Mercedes actually deliver a car that's good and Ferrari regress, but he's already made that commitment to join Ferrari? There's so much that could go right or wrong in this situation, man. And I don't know, man. I don't know, like, as I said, I'm, I love Ferrari, but I I understand the reality of what Ferrari are. They're a very passionate, um, patriotic team, you know? So it's like, sometimes that gets in the way of their progress. It's like they put, they heap so much pressure on themselves that they make mistakes when they don't need to. They overthink things. They don't need to. That's why their strategy has been so bad. But again... They did replace one of the strategy guys um, during the break. So let's see, man. Um, Hamilton joining Ferrari is so big. It's got so many people talking. You only have to look at, you know, who, who will be his replacement for, um, who will be Mercedes' replacement for Hamilton. And and what what about Carlos Sainz? He, he was looking to extend his contract. Leclerc has extended his contract, and he's probably of the mindset that, okay going forward i'm gonna be the number one driver you know they've made sure i've got a contract for the foreseeable future so i know i'm always in ferrari's plans but then you bring in a teammate like hamilton who is definitely gonna have parity there's no qualms about it he's definitely gonna have parity so what's the clear's mindset you know it's crazy the clear is not really a he's not a combative person in terms of personality he's quite He's a respectful guy, you know, and I, I feel like even if him and Hamilton are tussling on track, 
he's the kind of person he doesn't take it personally off the track you know what i mean whereas george russell there's a little bit of needle there with with leclerc i feel like he's just a genuine dude you know he's not going to try any underhanded tactics he's just going to try and beat you that's it you know and i feel like maybe that is a better a better fit for hamilton whereas russell not that he's sneaky but he's got that sort of edginess about him where he, he he would do something spiteful i don't believe leclerc has got that spiteful trait you know he's just he's aggressive on track but he would definitely be clean um but saying that bro i'm gonna give hamilton the utmost respect bro to go up against leclerc in a ferrari when let's Hamilton has never raced any other engine apart from a Mercedes engine since he's been in the sport. You know, it's, he's going to be a, quite a big learning curve and he's going up against like maybe the fastest guy on the grid in terms of like one lap pace, bro. It's crazy. That is crazy and it's brave because he could get his legacy absolutely destroyed if Leclerc just... You know, sometimes I'll give it to Leclerc. Sometimes he's just, he finds mad pace. Kind of reminds me of Hamilton when he was younger. You know what I mean? Like Leclerc has got that in him. So it's a risky one. It's a risky one, but Hamilton's going for it, man. He's going for it. You got to respect it. Even at this age, you've got to respect it. I'm telling you, man, that is, that's a brave move. That's someone who definitely believes that they've still got it. You know what I mean? So not that, not that I'm saying I doubted whether Hamilton had it or not, but I did think that he's at his best levels. I thought he was falling a little bit short of those, if I'm honest, right? As I said previously before, I think since 2021, I feel like he's been slightly below his best ever levels that we've seen, right? For me, with, with Hamilton's career, he's, um, I feel like his best level was after Rosberg had beaten him to a championship because ever since then I feel like he's been way more locked in like over a season personally um before him losing to Rosberg sometimes Hamilton would have like slow starts to a season or he'd have like four starts where you know other drivers would be winning races that they shouldn't really be winning and that would that would make a championship closer than it needs to be because if you think about 2016 that was literally the only reason why Hamilton didn't win the titles because he let Rosberg run up a, a bunch of victories at the start of the season and even though I feel like Hamilton was definitely better in 2016 that allowed Rosberg to have that buffer where he could afford to I just need to finish second I just need to finish second and after that is where I feel like you saw a different focus in Hamilton and he started being it being at it from the word go you know um so that's the level that he's gonna have to get back to against um leclerc which is tough and with hamilton's mentality he's gonna have to he's gonna have to do what michael schumacher did with ferrari he's gonna have to grab these guys by the scruff of their neck and shake them you know what i mean or he's gonna have to bring his own people in because the pressure that ferrari put on themselves you know I can see them like fumbling the bag and i know this about ferrari i've known this for years but hamilton needs to be able to do something to change that the club doesn't seem like a vocal enough person whereas i think hamilton is and i feel like hamilton will command respect when he walks in there you know so um i mean it definitely will improve ferrari whether the the rest of the team can get it together i don't know but in terms of a driver lineup bro listen that's crazy there, there ain't I, I don't think maybe if you paired uh verstappen and hamilton together or verstappen and leclerc together those are the only two driver pairings to me that are even that could ever be on par with this man i don't even think as good as alonso is i don't think he's up there with these three i think he's slightly below because i believe now on raw pace i don't think on raw pace alonso is quite where Leclerc, Verstappen and Hamilton are, you know. But, you know, smarts wise, um Alonso is definitely up there, but he's in his 40s now. He's going he's going to have slightly regressed from where he was when he was battling for championships in 2012 when I feel like he was at his highest level. That was like 
12 years ago so i don't know man like it's crazy it's definitely a crazy one man it's definitely a crazy one <laughs> russell must be thinking yo you guys need to back me this season <laughs> okay because as i said the timing is insane it's, it's a crazy time to announce this because hamilton could therefore lose all support from mercedes this season you know what I mean? Like, is he going to get the strategy calls? Is he going to get the updates? You know what I mean? How, does, how is this going to affect his relationship with Mercedes while racing for them? And, you know, even in race situations, what, why are they going to give Hamilton the nod knowing that he's going to be the opposition the season after? It's kind of, it's kind of insane, to be honest. I feel like they've announced it too soon. Well, I feel like Hamilton's announced it too soon. I feel like it could only be bad for his 2024 season. Um, after that, you know, anything can happen. But let's say he has a terrible 2024. Okay. Um, that puts more pressure on him to perform in 2025. Going to a whole new team, whole new engine against a very, very good teammate. You know, I probably think on natural talent, Leclerc might be his best teammate, bro. Okay, you could, you could say Alonso and stuff like that. And fair enough, I'll say yes, Alonso on paper is his best ever teammate. But it's a difference when Hamilton came into the sport. He was the young lion. He was coming in. Now he's sort of the elder statesman going up against one of the younger hotshots who on a natural ability we've already seen in the past. Leclerc is, look what he did to Vettel. Vettel was seen as one of those guys like a top three guy and he got absolutely smashed by Leclerc I'm telling you like it's it's dangerous bro it's dangerous um but all I can say is man it, it might say what to expect about Mercedes for 2024 to be honest um it, it looks as if he wasn't you know he wasn't convinced by the project even with Mercedes bringing back James Allison and Toto Wolf and Allison signing extensions. Something has not convinced him about the Mercedes direction, man. Maybe he's maybe he's just not. He's just thinking, listen, I'm near the end of my career. I'm only gonna get one more chance to drive for Ferrari. I might as well go. And if I'm not gonna be winning championships, I might as well do that in a Ferrari. <laughs> Cause at least I'm gonna look good at the time, you know what I mean? Um I don't know. Like, I don't know whether he could win a championship with Ferrari. I'll be honest, I don't see anybody on the grid winning championships with Ferrari with the way how they... It's not that they can't make a fast car, but they just don't seem to be... They're very reactionary. They don't... They don't... They just don't give you confidence to, you know update throughout a whole season develop the car throughout a whole season and keep going forwards they always seem to stagnate at some point in the season even 2017 2018 created great cars middle of the season stagnate lose the championship make mistakes lose the championship you know have bad strategy calls lose race win now even just going back to like silverstone 2022 when all they had to do just just let Le Pe leclerc go past science he was way quicker even with a broken wing, they waited for ages, almost threw away the lead of the race. And then when the safety car comes out, they didn't give their lead driver the, the, the stop so we could secure the win. Like, these sorts of things, man, like Ferrari, gonna, they're going to have to get their shit together, man. Seriously. They're going to have to get their shit together. They, they've never had a driver pairing as good as this. So if they can just get their shit together, they can be a force. I don't know what they're going to do in terms of how good the car will be this season. As I said, on raw pace, great. Like Ferrari have got it. You know, they're able to battle for pole positions and stuff like that. But they got to sort that tyre deficit out because it's easy for Red Bull. It's so easy for Red Bull. You know, Ferrari lose races to cars that are fundamentally slower just because they kill tyres, man. So, um... But I hope they sort it out. Bro, I'm gleaming. I'm actually happy, bro. And I'm not even a Hamilton fan, but if he's driving for Ferrari, he's good with me. You know what I mean? Like, I can't be... <laughs> I can't be angry at a decision to bring in a... 
a seven-time world champion who's definitely going to improve the team and he should enhance the atmosphere inside the team in terms of you know just having that top level structure like working at a, a higher level you know that's that's what ferrari need they need someone who's demanding the best leclerc to me is a little too he's too quiet you know um it's like he he expresses his anger now and again but he's not expressing it in a way where these it's going to help these guys improve or push them forward you know it's just frustration i hope hamilton can do that <sighs> and as i said man like who's going to be his replacement at mercedes i know they've got that kid that antonelli kid but is he going to be ready to just get thrown straight into the deep end of f1 um it will be some debut season just to get thrown straight at the front it doesn't happen very often that way um, maybe they might take science me personally i wouldn't i'd probably go for albon um i think i think science is all right it's not like he's terrible i think he's okay but we you know this dude ain't never winning no championship bro let's just keep it real he's never winning the championship um yeah the dynamic I, the, the thing is like we're all looking forward to 2025 but for one for one moment let's think about 2024 and what that actually means for um what that actually means for um hamilton and what that means for mercedes and it's 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 a very 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 weird dynamic to know your driver from day one from the first race of the season you know he is not going to be here next year so is mercedes mentality let's go all out to help hammer on win because this is going to be his last year of mercedes or is it going to be like screw him he wasn't faithful to us russell's our guy now like what would you do in that situation because i see many people always say things like oh mercedes owe hammer on the championship mercedes owed it i'm gonna keep it 100 percent real mercedes don't owe hammer on a damn thing mercedes gave hammer on the best years of his career and if if you want to say vice versa hamilton did the same for mercedes you could but the difference is factually only people that have won more titles than hamilton for the last decade is mercedes so regardless of whether hamilton was there or not they were going to be winning titles so the onus has always been on mercedes you know what i mean they're the ones who they've backed him from before he was even in f1 you know what I mean? So, at the end of the day, you have to say, like, Mercedes have done a lot for Hamilton. How are they going to feel about this? Are they going to feel you know, betrayed or whatever? And will this propel Russell to be number one driver this season? Like that That is, you know, that is a very interesting dynamic. And as I said, what happens if Mercedes' car is pretty decent this season and Ferrari fall further back? then the decision looks crazy now is it was it a situation where they said they went to hamilton and they said um well we've got science we might sign to a new deal unless if you can agree with us now then we won't sign science to a new deal and you can drive for us in 2025 but it has to be done now because the window's closing if they did that and hamilton's decided okay you know i'll i'll come then psh, can't say nothing you know but yo <laughs> this is insane bro this is actually crazy this is actually crazy man man jeez contract ends in 2025 as well damn this is this is <laughs> wow I was definitely not expecting this, man. Definitely not expecting this. I think I think with Hamilton not winning a race in the last two years, um, just sit, having to sit there and watch Verstappen just run it up. Uh, I, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I can't tell you whether this is a good or bad move. I can tell you that it's it's good for the fans. You know what I mean? To see Lewis Hamilton in red driving something else, I think is good for his um, legacy, regardless 
of how it goes because he tried. You know what I mean? Like he tried, he put it all on the line and he showed how brave he was, you know? So I feel like regardless of how it goes, this is definitely a win for Hamilton's legacy. He drove for three teams um, and he tried for Ferrari, man. And that's all you can say. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, he won championships and he tried to do something different. If it does work, great. If it doesn't work, still you it's hats off because he took the risk at the end of the day um this is this is gonna be funny what i am looking forward to though because there is one aspect that i'm not gonna miss out on and that is this team lh that you see all over the place on twitter these cult lewis hamilton fans that will sat down and i used to see loads of twitter messages oh he'd never leave mercedes he's not a traitor he's fake i've seen this for the last six seven months bro and now he's gone. I want to see what all these people are saying now because they seem to think that this was some sort of family, bro. This is elite level sport. You only have a short time in sport at your peak. So you have to take all your opportunities. And that's what Hamilton's doing. At the end of the day, you know, he doesn't, you know, he, he wasn't born by the Mercedes badge. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, he doesn't have to stay in Mercedes for the rest of his career. People just assumed that he would but you know anything can happen in sport Hamilton's made his decision and um a lot of these so-called Mercedes fans in inverted commas because I personally know Mercedes don't have any fans bro 95% of these people that support Mercedes or say they do really just support Hamilton they're not really Mercedes fans come on you know what I mean when Mercedes came back in the sport in 2010 I didn't see a bunch of these Mercedes fans claiming to be big fans of Mercedes no you know what I mean you're fans of Hamilton and now Hamilton's leaving they'll be jumping ship to Ferrari <laughs> don't you worry about that so all that slagging off Ferrari used to get like a few years back like back when you know Vettel and them were battling for titles all that slagging off Ferrari used to get watch now watch watch all these guys be Ferrari fans now but nah, we don't want them. We don't want them fans, bro. Be a Hamilton fan and just state what it is. We don't want that Team LH over at Ferrari because we don't deal with all of that stupid ass woke agendas and all that sort of stuff that they, these guys love on Twitter. Drives me insane, man. They get on my nerves. But I'm at least happy to see Hamilton driving for Ferrari. You know what I mean? I can support Ferrari knowing that, bro, I know this team regularly let you down. Like, it's just part of what happens. You know what I mean? But they pulled off a big one. And whatever you want to say about Ferrari, you have to say, if we go back years, nobody has had a better driver lineup than Ferrari. If you look at the list of people that have driven for Ferrari, they've had the best drivers, bro. Like, it's not even close at this point. You know what I mean? They've literally had the best drivers, bro. I mean, they've had Prost, they've had Schumacher, they've had... Vettel, they've had Leclerc, they're going to have Hamilton. Bro, you can't, you know what I mean? They've had Raikkonen when he was actually a beast. You can't chat to Ferrari, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't matter how good they are. You literally can't say anything to these, these guys, man. They 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 get it done in terms of signing the, the best drivers, but they need to get it done on the track, which is what's going to be more important for the 2024 season and 2025 what do you guys think in the comment section below? Let me know. I need to know what you guys think, man, because this one is a big one. Anyway, guys, Cryptic TNG, like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to catch my videos first. And peace.